And so what is adversity and how do you overcome adversity? Well, clearly, as I said to you, I overcame a ton of adversity as a child. And what's important to understand is a lot of what I went through during that time was out of my control. And so the first thing you need to do is become aware or be conscious of a lot of the things that you went through in your life that are painful were probably out of your control. And so if the statement is true that everything happens for a reason or nothing in God's world happens by mistake, then the question is, is why did I go through that? Why did I experience that adversity? Why did I experience that trauma? Why did I experience that pain? Well, the answer is, is because it was actually molding you to become the person you are today, which is the man that's standing in front of you. I would have never been able to be here in front of all of you today, sharing my story, talking about how I went through all these challenges and how I can honestly tell you today that I am extremely grateful for everything that I've been through. And just to give a couple of highlights of what I went through as a child, which are extremely traumatic, and, and I understand that my parents loved me unconditionally, but they didn't know what they were doing. My mom was always in these abusive relationships. My stepfather, two separate occasions, one time stabbed her 13 times and attempted to murder her. And so she got better. He went to jail for like nine, 12 months. He ended up getting out of jail because my mom, as sick as it may sound, did everything in her power to get him out. Don't ask me why. Six months later, he ended up shooting her in the neck with a 357 Magnum. And so that was such a painful, traumatic time for me. But what that did for me and, and the strength that that gave me to be able to step up and serve at the highest level and to truly want to impact the world at the, big, at, at the most highest level was, was exactly why I went through that stuff. And so rather than asking yourself, why did that happen to me? Ask yourself, what are the gifts? What are the gifts in all those experiences? And so that's something that's happening that's out of your control. Well, now you're starting to understand, well, there's these unconscious behaviors that were adopted as children growing up. And, and all of a sudden, now you're exposed to understand how you've been showing up in your life. You can't unexpose yourself. The law of exposure is, is once you understand and expose yourself, you can't unexpose yourself. And so the key to overcoming conscious adversity is actually showing up to seminars like this or going to Tony Robbins events, or I put on personal development seminars, or I get a coach that shows and points out these blind spots, right? And so proximity is everything. Proximity is power because what starts to happen, the human mind wants evidence to support its belief systems. And so if you wanna become a better version of yourself, identify somebody that you can model, model their behavior, model their habits, model how they show up in the world, and all of a sudden you'll start to adopt those behaviors, you'll start to see and recognize patterns, unconscious patterns in yourself, and then eventually you get to change them. And so adversity is only a gift. And that's the belief that I have today. There was a time when I did not like failure. I thought I was a failure. I thought every time I failed, I was worthless. But today, I understand failure is an absolute gift because in those moments of failure, I truly get to understand how to show up differently and I understand what doesn't work, right? And so it's so important to recognize this stuff and understand that there's a gift in all of this. And so